I think <laughs> I don't have a definition or explanation for this. I'd give it a 108 plus. Deer tamales. I have eaten deer about every way. I don't think I've ever had deer tamales. So you can boil leaves. Good morning. Alright, it's Friday evening and uh, we have a couple of our friends coming over. It's a couple that's dating that are going to come and have supper with us just to enjoy some time together. Also, we have basketball games away tomorrow and some of the kids are going to be catching a ride with us. So, JC has one of her friends and the boys have a couple of friends that's going to be here tonight that are going to ride with us as we pull out pretty early in the morning headed to basketball games. Right now, the kids are all going to track practice. And so Jessica and I are starting to get supper going. Uh, we're gonna have hamburgers, rotel and chips, some uh, grilled onion, you might call it, smoked onion, whatever. And uh, we're just gonna have a good time. So come along. Jessica's already got the hamburger meat mixed up. She's gonna tell us what all she puts in this and how she's mixing it up to make some good burgers tonight. Well, this is a mix of deer ground and just regular ground beef that I'm mixing together here. And I've added some dry ranch seasoning, some Worcestershire, garlic, salt, pepper, and Tony's. And I'm just going to make it into patties and put it on the grill. All right, I'm getting my charcoal going. All right, I'm going to put the onion right there. So one of our friends just drove by and saw us out grilling and getting the fire started and brought us by some deer tamales. I have eaten deer about every way. I don't think I've ever had deer tamales. Well, guess what just got added to the menu tonight? You guessed it, deer tamales. All right, so these are ready. They smell really good. Drag the onion back to the middle. Give it a little bit more heat. All right. Cooperate, onion. See these girls right here? They're looking for prom dresses. See this lady right here? She's encouraging it. You know this guy talking? He ain't told them yet. They're not going to the prom. There's salt, You know what's terrible about all this good food? Having to eat it next to that face. <laughs> So JC is in this battle with her mother about who's the tallest, and she recently lost a round of this battle. So tonight, she decided how to be taller than her mother. <laughs> she said she looks like a unicorn, but uh, I think <laughs> I don't have a definition or explanation for this. It might be scary. <laughs> The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Good Monday morning. Like a brand new cat. Good looking little fella. One thing about living in the South or living in rural areas pretty much period is that the people always want to bless you with something. I just stopped by one of my church members house, an older lady who has some raised beds out back. 
and she also is the one who owns the property we keep our horses on and she said look I need to give you some cabbage and some collards before you leave so we went out to her raised beds and we gathered a little bit for a mess man you can't help but leave after that and say it is wonderful to be a part of a group of people who can provide for themselves and they always want to help and be a blessing to those around them. Look at this cabbage. She had this growing out in her raised beds. Had several heads there. Really tight. Very, very nice head of cabbage. And I didn't even have to do the work, but it makes me want to grow some cabbage. All right, so Jessica tells you guys that I'm not a cook, and she's right, I'm not. But she's busy right now, doing school with the kids, and I'm gonna wash these collards and try to get them washed and on the cook before she gets back from school for a couple of reasons. Number one, I want her to see me complete a dish by myself, even though she doesn't eat collards. Secondly, I want to eat collards. These are going to be great. So we're gonna wash them two or three times, make sure we get everything off of them, make sure there's no worms on them, cut these stems out, and then we're gonna go to work on the stove for about two hours at a minimum. Make this yummy, yummy, yummy. I might have to talk her into some Mexican cornbread though. I got them washed pretty good. I'm gonna wash them through one more time, just make sure. And we're gonna put them on the ball here in a minute. I'm not teaching anybody anything, by the way. Most of you know way more about this and you can point out all my mistakes. I am just giving you proof that I am cooking something. Even though I've had to admit that the lasagna rep recipe on one of our videos was not my recipe. I'm going to fight the adage that I can't cook. That's just not fair. I just don't cook. So when you realize how badly I'm doing, you may say you shouldn't cook, but I'm cooking right now, guys. So I'm going to have to leave the room for a little while and I don't want this stuff to boil over. If I put a lid on it, it's still gonna boil over. So this old guy that can't cook and doesn't know anything about cooking, he's just gonna put a stainless steel spoon in the pot because, you know, he don't know anything about cooking. So we'll just see if this might start a new trend. I did forget to video a step. Salt, pepper, and oil. Yep, I know what I'm doing. It's boiling. So I'm gonna turn it down to three. And we're gonna let it set for at least two hours, maybe longer. It already smells good. What are you cooking? Collards. I'm just proving I can cook. Oh, you can boil leaves. Ouch. Just got done slicing and peeling some potatoes, I, I sliced them really thin, as you can tell, to uh, do what my family's always just called fry potatoes. Really fry taters, but to be proper, we'll say potatoes. And then I've saved Bryson some peelings to go in his compost. So I'm going to put on a pot of tea to brew. We like Lipton, 
learned that other brands kind of have a wang tang that we don't really care for. So, put two tea bags in, turn it on high, and let it come to a bowl. I have my water on to bowl for my macaroni. I'm gonna make macaroni and cheese. Wild. My wonderful collards sitting to the side, cooling a bit. I have been told I will be the only one that eats them. My sons want to feed them to rabbits that we don't have. As you can see, my tea has come to a boil. I am going to reduce my heat to low and I'm going to let it brew now for about two to three minutes. And now I'm going to season my flour to fry up the deer steaks. I had pepper, salt, and as you can tell, I don't measure anything. Just eyeball it. Been doing it so long. This is how my mom taught me. I think I need to go buy some more garlic powder. And stir that around. And next we need to cut up the deer steaks. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off now. And I am going to pass this project off to Skylar. He's our in-house tea expert. I've taught him well. So how, how many cups of sugar was that? You're only supposed to put two. That's not what I asked you though. I said, how many cups of sugar was that? Mm, two, give or take. Two, give or take. Now he's gonna pour the tea over the sugar. The two cups, give or take. filling up the pitcher with water and then let it set out on the counter for how long? Till so it's like room temperature. Till it's room temperature? That's the successful way to make no. southern iced tea? No, lots of sugar and you put it in the refrigerator with the water. Open. So air, cool air can get inside. The tea Alrighty then, there's your tea. I'll always test his tea while it's warm. I don't care for warm tea. Scholar thinks he's from England. How is it? Good. Good? Just good or great? Um, great. Fantastic tea. I had some leftover Rotel from when we grilled burgers the other day and I decided that I would use it in my macaroni. It wasn't much, a couple of spoonfuls and so, so far I've put milk and butter, salt and pepper and I'm going to add some more cheese and sour cream. A couple of dollops of sour cream. all this together, mix it really good while it's heating on low so it's all melty and good. Creamy macaroni. I'm going to get Jasper to taste test the creamy macaroni. I don't know if this is going to be any good or not, but let's test it out. I'd give it a 108 plus, just like all my math tests. Okay, I've just rinsed my meat, my deer meat, deer steaks, and I'm going to batter 
When I get finished cutting them all up, I'll batter and fry them in hot oil. Okay, I want you to try some uh, cream cheese and pepper jelly on a cracker. Mmm, that is good. That reminds me of, of mm -hmm. the taste of sweet pickles. Okay, I've got my oil heated up. I'm gonna put my deer tenderloin in this skillet, cast iron skillet with the oil, and then in the back one, I'm gonna put the fried potatoes. All right, I'm gonna put my fried potatoes and onions in. Taking my first batch of the fried potatoes up. They're cut thin so they don't take long to cook. You just want them to get a little bit of a crunch and still have a tender bite to them. So this is potatoes and onions. And now we're ready for a second bite. So our plates are loaded up with everything Jessica has fixed tonight. Got the appetizer in the middle of the table. As I predicted, I'm the only one going to eat any collards. A little pepper sauce. And now Jasper is going to lead us in grace and thank God for all that he has given us. Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for allowing us to come unto you, Lord. Thank you for this food fried for us, Lord. Thank you for the ones that prepared it, Lord. Help us to continue to do the things that please you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. amen.